Hi, my name is Carly, I'm a diabetes specialist dietitian and in this series of videos we're going to show you how you can work out the carbohydrate in the food you eat. This can help you manage your diabetes and have more stable blood glucose levels. In this video we're going to show you how you can use handy measures to help make carb counting easier. There's some handy measures that we know but you could also make your own handy measures. So in this video we're going to look at handy measures for fruit, potatoes, how you can make your own handy measures for foods like pasta or rice and breakfast cereal. So let's first look at potatoes. A potato about the size of an egg contains around 10 grams of carbohydrate. A scoop of mashed potato contains around 10 grams of carbohydrate. So if I put two scoops of mashed potato on a plate, that would equal 20 grams of carbohydrate. And three scoops would equal 30 grams of carbohydrate. Now let's look at fruit. So a handy measure for fruit could be a tennis ball. So for lots of fruit, if the fruit is around the size of a tennis ball, like this apple, or this orange once I've peeled it, we could estimate it contains around 10 grams of carbohydrate. But that might look different for smaller fruit. And for this apple, we might say that's around one and a half tennis balls. So I can estimate that this contains around 15 grams of carbohydrate. So now I'm going to make my own handy measure. Here's what I need, a calculator, a notepad and pen, a plate, a set of digital scales, the food you want to eat and something you want to use as a handy measure, like a serving spoon. So now I'm going to make a handy measure for pasta. I could use anything in the kitchen. It could be a bowl, a measuring jug, measuring cups, but I'm going to use this spoon. So I need to work out the carbohydrate in a spoonful of pasta. And this means that next time I eat pasta, I only need to use the spoon to work out the carbohydrate in my serving. C stands for carbohydrate in reference food. W stands for weight of the reference food. And S stands for the weight of my own serving. In this calculation, we need two pieces of information from a carbohydrate reference. To weigh the food, I turn the scales on, put my plate on the scales and press zero or tear. And now the scales will read zero. So I put my food on the plate. So the weight of my pasta is 40 grams. Now I need to do the calculation. So I need two more pieces of information from a carbohydrate reference. I'm going to use the carbs and cows book. So I go to the pasta page and the two pieces of information I need are the carbohydrate in the green circle and the weight. So now I can do the maths. So the calculation is C divided by W multiplied by S gives me the carbohydrate in my serving of food. So I've calculated that this spoon of pasta contains 12 grams of carbohydrate. That means if I add another spoonful of pasta, that would give me 24 grams of carbohydrate. But let's look at a handy measure for cereal. So this is my usual serving of this cereal. I can follow the same steps as I did for the pasta. I can weigh the cereal and calculate the carbohydrate I can use the food label as the carbohydrate reference. I've already done this and the carbohydrate in my cereal is 40 grams. So let's make a handy measure. I've got a plastic tub and I'm going to pour in my usual serving of this cereal. I'll draw a line, I'll write my cereal and I'll write 40 grams of carbohydrate. The next time I have this cereal, I'm just going to use the tub for 40 grams of carbohydrate. 
why don't you try and make your own handy measure?